Another issue that is a, a national issue, but of course one that uh, you deal with in various ways in California. Another issue is abortion. You have probably heard more and more Republicans, including Donald Trump, who just over the weekend accused Democrats of supporting abortion rights up to and after yeah. birth. <laughs> Can you be clear about what does that mean uh, after birth well, abortion after it's made up it's a political well, can you just be clear it's about political. what limits on abortion should be it's a political thing people are not seeking abortion but what is at the what end is the policy the what should it be the policy it's not up to Donald Trump or me it's up to you to women that have to bear that responsibility uniquely and distinctively and the reality is it's a canard it's a political frame it's total BS. And it's exactly where they need to go because they know they've gone too far. But there has to on be the some side. kind. Well, let me just talk about your state of California. Yeah. As you well know, there is a law in books that preceded you uh, that says that you can have an abortion up until viability, which is about 24 weeks. That's right. Is that something that you that's, support that's personally? That's in statute in the state of California. That said, there was a constitutional amendment that we placed on the ballot. That, that has some nuance in it. And so that's an area that's being adjudicated in public opinion and likely will ultimately be so adjudicated. Is in the it courts. the government's role then? I know you, you said it's, it's not up our to role women. To make that decision. So there should be nothing no, that, on the books? This is, this is a canard. This is a false flag. This is where they need to go in order to get out of the mess they've created because they don't believe in fundamental choice and freedom for women. They don't, period, full stop. And this whole issue is a political issue. And so with respect, I'm not surprised that Donald Trump is saying this. This is exactly what you hear every single one of them say next week down at the Reagan Library. And at the end of the day, those examples are so extreme, so rare, when you have, when you have literally viability issues that are deeply personal and painful. Uh, others have said it more eloquently than I have after you picked out the name of the baby and then you're forced to make this terrible decision at the end of a term and to exploit that for political purposes offense. I just want to be clear because people are going to be listening very carefully to what you're saying. Yeah. You do not believe it is the role of government nationally or, or state government no, to, wanted, have, to have any limits on the books I, legally. The state that, of California has long believed in viability. I've long believed in viability. We went forward with a constitutional amendment that's created some questions as it relates to this. My, my point is no one wants to see late, late-term abortions. No one's out there promoting that. That's what the Democratic Party's position is. It's not what my personal position is. In those rare and extremely rare and personal circumstances, one thing I absolutely believe, Donald Trump shouldn't be making that decision. I sure as hell not, should not be making that decision. That's a decision for the mother, the would-be mother, and for her doctor, and for whomever member of her family or priest uh, believes that's the right thing to do. And, uh, and, and beyond that, with all due respect, uh, I call BS on this whole debate. It is purely a political canard.